So you'll have two pieces of lining fabric and also a piece of fabric to make a pocket. Take one of your lining pieces and your pocket piece. And first of all, let's just start by giving that a press. And then what we want to do is take that pocket panel piece and press up in half right sides together with raw edges matching so that you get your nice uh, pocket shape. Now what we want to do is just sew down either side here by um, just sew it down by one centimetre but leave the top edge open because we're going to bag this out. So just sew a centimetre down here and a centimetre down here. So I'm lining up the raw edge with the uh, one centimetre line and then we'll do a back stitch to begin with. And then consider sewing all the way to the end and do another back stitch. Like this. Same on the other side. want to trim the corners just to reduce the bulk and then we can turn our pocket right sides out and you can use a point turner if you like just to push those corners out nicely just to make them look nice and crisp. And then give it another press. I want to grab a piece of gold binding that extends a couple of centimetres beyond either edge of our pocket. And then we, will going, we are going to just open that out so that the raw edges are matching and just clip or, play, or pin the binding in place there. So we'll create a nice gold top edge to our pocket. So when we pop that under my arm machine, we'll just sew along this crease, back stitching at the beginning and end, and then we'll fold it round to the front side and we'll have a nice pocket with a, a gold edge, which I think just gives it an extra special touch. So let's start by just sewing along here. I'm just going to follow the crease of that binding. I'll do a back stitch at the beginning and the end. And just make sure that the raw edges are matching up there at the top. So the first side of the binding is sewn on. Now we just want to um, use the iron to press that up and away. And then we can just trim down the ends there just a little bit. So you've got just about a centimetre either end. And then we can just fold that in and fold your binding over. Tuck in those raw edges there. Once you've got that where you want it to be, then you can just pop a clip to hold it in place. And you can use your iron to help you press your binding over if you like. If it won't fold over, then you can always trim away 
a little bit so that it kind of brings it round. And then lastly, we'll just come along this edge here and sew that down. And I'm actually using the same colour thread um, that I use for the bag. So it's a pale green. If you wanted to, you could swap your thread colour over to white which will better sink in, or sort of a bridal off-white, which will better sink in to this gold. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's really going to show up. And even if it does, it's quite nice because it matches the exterior of the bag. So we're now ready to attach our pocket to our lining fabric. I want this to sit nice and centrally, so I'll just start by making a crease line at the centre of my fabric and at the centre of my pocket. So if I line them up, I know that they're central. And I want my pocket to sit six centimetres down from the top edge. So if I just measure six there, then that's pretty much where I want that to be. So I can then pin that in place. So pin at right angles to where you're going to sew. Pin, pinning through all layers. Obviously you want to avoid pinning your um, ironing board. And then once that's all pinned, then we're just going to sew around the edge of the pocket. So I'll just start in the top corner there. A little back stitch to begin with. And I'm just doing this by eye going around the edge of the pocket. When I get to the corner, I just want to leave my needle down in my fabric, lift my foot and swivel out before putting my foot back down and then continuing along. And then you just continue finishing with a back stitch at the end. So your pocket is now sewn in place and because we've doubled it over we've got a nice lining in there and we've got our nice um, golden top edge which will look really attractive when we open our pouch. So the lining in the outside of the bag is prepared. Let's now um, prepare the zip. So you will see that our pouch has this rather nice um, wrist strap that attaches to the zip puller and it also helps you to pull the zip open and closed as well. So I'm going to show you how to make this um, for the zip um, now. So we'll just start by preparing the fabric by folding this strip in half. This is going to be your wrist strap. Just keep your iron on a fairly low setting and use a pressing cloth so that you don't spoil the effect of this fabric. So I've got our crease at the centre there. The next thing that we want to do is to fold the raw edges into the middle of that crease and then fold this in half and then just um, secure that with a pin or a clip. So it's kind of like you're making a binding. You just fold the raw edges into the middle and fold that in half and then secure with a clip. It's quite fiddly if you try to iron this without the, the clips because you've got too many things to hold on to so just securing with the clips does help and then once that's done you can just use your iron once more just to press down one area at a time it will just help it to stay where it wants to where you want it to stay So you've trained this where you want it to go by pressing and clipping it. Now before we sew it down, we're going to just post it through 
the end of our zip pull. So it's a bit fiddly, but if you just pop uh, one end of your, your strap through there, grab hold of it and pull it through. There we go. Okay. So what we'll do is we will, we will now put right sides together here and just create a nice neat edge before sewing that uh, strap down. So just making sure that those ends match up neatly and that your strap isn't twisted and with a one centimeter seam allowance we will just sew those ends together. So that's sewn together now, we can just finger press that open and just press those ends into the middle and then round again and just secure that with a clip and then with everything tucked in nicely so we will now go around that wrist strap just sewing on the edge there with those raw edges tucked in so that the wrist strap it was four centimeters to begin with four centimeters wide and then we've folded it in half, folded the edges in and folded it back in half again so it'll end up being one centimetre wide and we're just going to sew along the edge and you may think well how can we because we're through the zip we just pull it through the zip as we go and we're just going to sew on the edge so as you go through just make sure that everything's pushed in do a little back stitch to begin with just sewing right on the edge there so you can see that that's tucked inside and I'll just keep going round pulling the um, pulling the strap through my zip pull until I get back to where I started so you can see now that the wrist strap is all the way um, closed and through the middle of the zip there. Just trim off any, um, any little thread tails, keep things neat and tidy as you go. Now one last step, I like to pull this through so that the join is just near the zip. Once it's pulled through, I pull it taut, match up those edges. Pop a little clip to hold it closed. And then I just want to sew back and forth about here. This is just to create an area where the wrist strap is attached to the zip. And then beyond that, that's your, that's your wrist strap. So if you don't have that, it can just look a bit more untidy. Um, so I think it just neatens it off. So we're just going to do one little stitch just down here. Now at this point you are going through quite a few thicknesses of fabric. You don't actually want to sew on top of your join because that would be too many thicknesses. Just sew to the side of it um, so that you're not giving your machine too much of a hard job. But nonetheless, you have still got quite a few thicknesses of fabric to sew through there. But if you find that your machine struggles with this, you could always hand stitch this area. Just take it nice and slow. So I've done four stitches forward four back and then forward again. So I've just created a line of stitching just there just to hold that closed. So we've created our zip. Now before we move on to making our bag because we've finished all the separate components I just wanted to show you a little extra which was how to add on these tabs so that you can attach a, de a detachable um, chain strap to your bag. So you can use this as a clutch bag with the wrist strap but if you did want to add a chain strap so that you can wear it over your shoulder I just wanted to show you how to do that as well. Now these components don't come as part of the kit but they can be purchased as an add-on. And what you will get is the chain strap, some ribbon and two D-rings. 
So the first thing to do is just to take one piece of your ribbon. This ribbon is um, six centimetres long by one and a half centimetres wide. Um, but you could use any ribbon you have if you're making this at home. And you've got, you can use, um, you know, a small D ring there. So that I've put folded this in half so that raw edges are together. And then I just want to attach that to the side of my bag there. So I want to be two and a half centimetres or one inch down from the top edge there. And then I will just clip that in place and then I'll do exactly the same on the other side so just post that ribbon through the mini d-ring line up the raw edges and clip that in place at two and a half centimeters down from the top edge once that's clipped in place then we're just going to secure our tabs to our bag just with a few stitches in that seam allowance there. So you're only going to be look a few half a centimetre in from the edge there. Just take a few stitches forward and a few stitches back. And there that tab is now sewn in place. So when that bag is made, you will just have a tab sitting at the side there which you can attach your um your chain strap to if you want to have one so with all the prep work done we can now start to build our bag 